Yo guys, what's up? It's me, Pro Sniper here, bringing you my second Halo Mega Blocks review. Um, today I'm reviewing um, set number nine seven one three four. Um, ages eight plus has two hundred forty pieces. It is the UNSC Night Ops Goshawk with lights and sound features. Features. Um, it's one of the new um, two thousand uh, two thousand thirteen sets. So uh, we'll look at the box first. Um, so this is the box. Um, top we just got uh, Mega Blocks Halo. Um, we got a big picture of the set, the Warthog, and the three mini figures included with this set. Um, and then we just got this little piece here showing the Promethean Knight and the lights and sound feature part that you use to. Um, you like uh okay I'm kind of confused myself so I'll just um, move on um so the three mini figures included are the UNSC Spartan Warrior UNSC Spartan Pathfinder which is the armor gained by one of the specializations on Halo Four once you reach level fifty plus um and the Promethean Knight Lancer um and then we just got the big picture of the set and some other sets in the corner here. So that's the box out of the way. Um, so we'll just move on to other pieces included. We got the instruction booklet, and on the back it's just basically the same as the box. And then inside it's just showing you a nice little um, scene with all the other um, sets. Um, just all the pieces included, and then just how to build it and the regular stuff. Um, so that's that, and then we got this uh, little web um, card here for um, if you want to go on the website and join the brigade and all that. Um, you get a little block, four by two block to um, display a minifigure on. You get all of these yellow pieces that you build up, so you can um, you know just to uh, um, what do you call it, just to. Uh, like stabilize it till you're finished building it. So this is the actual set. This is the set itself. Um, yeah, pretty nice looking warthog. Um, and three amazing figures. Um, I'll leave my favorite till last. Um, and we'll start with the warrior Spartan. Um, a second, let me get off the turret. And this is a UNSC warrior Spartan. Just uh, give me a second to get him into. He comes in um, black for the jumpsuit, gold for the visor, and um, black for the um, jumpsuit. Uh, he's got a really nice sculpt to him. Um, seen him before with the UNSC Mana set, only he came with more of a steel grey colour. This time he's more of the um, Master Chief's colour. Um, that's him there. He comes with a shotgun. Um, I'm not sure if this is a new design. I'm sure it's smaller than the shotguns we've saw before. But I'm not sure if it's a new design. Uh, no, it's not a new design, but I'm sure it's smaller. Definitely sure it's smaller. Um, so I'll just put him to the side. Um, next we have the UNSC Pathfinder. Um, Uh, he's um, got more of an orangey red visor, and he's got the black jumpsuit and the same kind of green color as the Warrior Spartan. Oh, um, um, he's got he's um, pretty nicely sculpted as well. Looks really nice. And then um, both of them have a peg hole in the back of their torso to like store weapons or accessories. And he comes with a black railgun, which I love this gun. Um, I love it in the game, and I think it's actually pretty cool as the um, Mega Bloks, one of the weapons that Mega Bloks is uh, the um, Mega Bloks has done. And I think it's really cool. And that was my dog in the background. And yeah, uh, um, both of the Spartans have um, the same articulation, ball jointed head, 
ball jointed shoulders, um, hinged elbows, <coughs> swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball um, and hinged <coughs> knees. Both of them have the same um, articulation. Glenn, shut up. Sorry, dog's barking. Um, right. So that's the Spartans, and on to my favourite minifigure of this set, the um, Promethean Knight Lancer. Now this guy is awesome. He's got, um, I'll go into the articulation first. He's got, um, he's got a lot of articulation to him. I'll put it that way. He's got hinged knees and ball joint. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to go into the articulation because half of this I do not even understand. Um, like no words to describe it. So this is him. He is massive. He is a really nice minifigure. They've done an extremely amazing job of um, creating the size of this minifigure. This is exactly the size. Let's just put him down um, here for a minute. Actually, let's put him down here for a minute. So this is him. Um, over here. This is Promethean Knight. Now, he is meant to be taller than a Spartan in the game. Let's just test that. Wow. Okay, let's bring the camera in for a close-up. Yeah, look at that. This guy is... A, he's like a giant compared to the Spartan. The Spartan is... Just up to his um, waist. The Spartan is literally just, just a tiny bit above this knight's weight, the Promethean um, lance, the lancer's weight um, waist. Um, that is extremely accurate. That is just amazing. That is just perfect. The size, the the height of this figure, is just extremely accurate to the game, because that is literally the size that this is meant to be um, not like if it was in real life it's probably a bit bigger obviously but as I figured that is how it should be that is the size it should be really nice and um, they also did a really good job with um, detailing to this figure and um, so I'll give you a little close-up um, here we've got his little um, hard light sword or um, blade or in this case it's kind of a little axe and all that and you can move that up and down you can move it all the way back to here as well if you um, want to. So like it just brings up and like upward slash or downward and all that. You know, it's pretty cool. Really nice articulation. Comes with a suppressor on the other hand. Really nice and accurate to the game. You can move the suppressor up and down as well. You can also take it off like after the Spartan kills him. Um, like in the game. Um, two seconds, I just need to... It off. You can take it off, give it to your Spartan, and then your Spartan's got the suppressor. It's um, grey with just a little dot of orange. Um, really nice. That is really, really nice. I love this gun. Um, and yeah, it's just you just clip it back in, and there you go. Um, so yeah, that's the arms. Both of them are the same, apart from each one has a different weapon on it. And um, then he's got the mini arms in the middle. Really nice. They can both move up and down in their own direction. And they can grab things and all that. So yeah, it's really nice. Um, the legs, they're pretty nice as well. Really nicely um, detailed. They're just really amazing. This is the amazing figure. Um, they've really not screwed up with this figure. They've made it really, really, really nice. Like really, 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 really very very amazingly really really awesome this is this is my favorite figure so far um even got some detailing there um detailing there as well um on the back as well you know it's got some um orange detailing there and the head is really really nice two seconds Sorry about that, guys. Um, so this is his face. Really, really nice. That is really, really menacing. You know, it's really, you know, scary looking. I mean, like, coming up against that. The size of it, the weapons it's carrying. 
that its helmet will face. So <coughs> it's really nice. If I came up that again, if I came up against that in real life, I would literally be scared. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh god, some something keeps popping up on my computer. Um, so yeah, the back also opens up as well, just like in the game, just like that. Um, and you can store a watcher in there on these two pegs. Unfortunately, you do not get a walker, uh, a walker, a watcher in this set, but um, that's kind of a good thing because it means um, if you get the Forerunner weapons pack, you can store the watcher in here. Um, so like it's not just a random watcher flying around on its own. It's um you know it's got somewhere to be stored. Um so yeah that's all the figures. Just put them out of the way. Um next we have the warthog itself. Now this is really really nice. I love this warthog. It's a nice design. Um we saw this design in the warthog resistance. Only it had a different turret. Um. So we'll start at the back. Um this piece is pretty loose. I don't know if it's maybe like that. But um, we got some, um, you know, I'll just put the, you can take your warrior Spartan and put him here. And I'll just do that now. Um, just so that doesn't keep falling off like that. Well, falling like that, falling down there like that, or whatever you want to say. So yeah, the turret's basically just the same design as the other one, but only transformed into Goss. Um, or mini Mac, as I meant to call it, because I prefer to call it, because I think it's just meant to be um, like a smaller, more mobile, um, light Mac cannon. Pretty sure that's what it's meant to be, not sure. But, you know, it seems to kind of fire the same Mac rounds as the, the same rounds as the Mac cannon. So he just sits there operating the Gauss cannon. Done a really nice job with the Goth Cannon, they really made it look nice. Um, it's different from the one we saw with the Locust, that didn't really like that design. Um, so yeah, at the back here we've just got the um, part here with the um, fuel cans, that can be moved down and that can be moved down like that. You can uh, also take them off so many figures can hold them. Um, you've got a little antenna. Always got to keep communication in case you need reinforcements and backup. And um, got these bars at the side and up here. I uh, got some battle damage and um, vehicle detailing each side. Um, UNSC logos uh, and that piece. The not sure what this may be. Got some stripes. Um, warning logos, I guess. And um, got three four three written there, which is kind of funny because um, it's 343 Industries that runs um, the Halo 4 um, stuff um, and just the same on this side as well with the stickers and stuff Ghost Cannon is really really nice um, you got this piece here and then joined onto this piece here which is then joined on to all these pieces here and it's just really really nice looking um, and it can move forward and back and up and like down and all that and then um, can spin a full 360 degrees um, you got this little floodlight here which can move in certain directions not all directions um, definitely not one direction because that's just really they're just the worst boy band ever like ever um, there's two seats at the front here to store, uh, to um, have a passenger and a driver, which in this case is the Pathfinder. Um, I really love the minifigures you get with this. It's, you know, they're, they're just, they make sense, you know, Pathfinder to find the path to an objective and Warrior to just be there to defend the Pathfinder. No, so it makes sense. Um, so that's about it. You know, you've got the bars at the front here as well. Um, a couple of bars at the side here <laughs> to, um, you know, just to step up and all that. Um, and then you've got the little grappling hooks here. 
And yeah, that's about it. Um, now we're moving on to the main feature of the set, and I will turn out the light so you can see it much better. Um, um, so you push down on this piece here, and you hear lights and sounds. So I'll try and move the camera back a bit, and that back a bit to here. Yeah, and there you go there, so. Um, you just hear different sounds. So now I'll just let you hear the sounds and check that. So the lights. Okay, so that's all the sounds. Um, also, there is one other sound that you didn't hear there because um, I've already been like listening to all the sounds. But um, if you don't like press that for a while and use the lights and sound feature, um, there will be uh, another um, sound that is um, the sound of the engines um, starting up. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's about it for the set. Um, Really nice set, I do recommend it, you know, you get some nice minifigures. Um, this being the best um, minifigure of the um, Promethean Knight. Um, and I hope you come back for some of my other reviews, and I hope you watch some of my other reviews that I've already posted. Um, well uploaded, but um, yeah, I hope you want, um, watch them, and I hope you please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this video. And uh, as I say, come back for more. Thanks. Bye.